The sea contains fantastic creatures, but fish is the most famous. Fish are usually vertebrates that swim by moving their bodies back and forth, breathe through gills and have fins. But because there are so many different kinds of fish, they do not all belong to the same natural group and are not closely related. Today, we will look at some of the incredible species of bony fish. Bony fishes can be found in all freshwater and marine ecosystems, including caves, deep sea habitats, thermal springs and vents, and other similar features. It's incredible how many different forms there are, not to mention how they behave. They come in a wide range of body sizes, from species as little as the pygmy goby to the massive marlins and swordfishes that may grow to be as long as 4.5 meters and the ocean sunfish that can weigh more than 900 kilograms. Atlantic pork fish. The body is silver to light yellow and tapering, yellow stripes running the length of the fish. The fins and the forehead are an even yellow color. Two dark lines, one running across the eye of the creature and the other following the border of the gill plate, can be seen running along the head, a cuddle fin that is split in the middle. The juvenile variant has a white body with yellow markings on the nose, forehead and the front section of the dorsal fin. The body is marked with two black stripes that run lengthwise. There is a black speck located on the caudal peduncle. They hunt their prey at night and focus on benthic organisms as their primary food source. They make noises similar to grunts using pharyngeal teeth and swim bladder, just like every other species of grunt. Blue Tang The body is oval and ranges in color from blue to deep purple with a white or yellow spine running along the caudal peduncle. The intermediate version has a blue body and a yellow caudal fin. The body of the juvenile form is yellow and the dorsal and anal fins have a light blue edging along their edges. There is no break in the dorsal fin from the gill plate to the caudal peduncle a cuddle fin that is somewhat split down the middle. They can change their color saturations ranging from a very light blue to a very dark purple. They frequently feed on algae while swimming in enormous schools that cruise around the top of the reef. Several species belonging to the Acantheridae family are typically combined to form these conglomerations. The blue tang has a pointed spine, sometimes known as a modified scale, that runs down either lateral border or the caudal peduncle. This spine can be seen on either side of the tail. When made to stand upright, these spines offer the tang an efficient method of self-defense. The tripod fish is a species of fish that lives in the deep, frigid waters of the ocean and has an odd appearance, but is nonetheless rather fascinating. This particular species of fish, sometimes known as a stilt walker, spends most of its existence foraging for food while perched precariously above the substrate on the ocean floor. It gets its common name, tripod fish, from how it stands over the sea floor using three protrusions extended from the modifications made to its fins. Giant Oarfish The oarfish holds the record for the longest bony fish in the world because it lives at enormous depths. The vast oarfish has only been described for the first time in 1772 but it has been spotted very infrequently. It is not widely known, 
but scientists believe that giant oarfish can be found at depths of approximately 3,300 feet, which can grow to a length of up to 56 feet, is the bony fish species with the longest known lifespan. They can potentially weigh up to 300 kilograms. The silvery fish are sometimes referred to as the king of herrings due to their superficial resemblance to the smaller fish. However, they are known as oarfish due to their long pectoral fins which resemble oars. This nickname comes from the fact that the pectoral fins are longer than the smaller fish. Because of their long reddish fin, they are referred to as rooster fish on the island nation of Palau where they were featured on a postage stamp in the year 2000. Because of the shape of their bodies, some people sometimes refer to them as ribbon fish. Look down. The look down slender, silvery and flattened body can grow to be at least a foot long, although it rarely weighs more than two to three pounds. It has a wide mouth situated low on its face and a head, elongated and flattened head. It has a highly forked tail with a short base and the first rays on its back and anal fins are long and narrow. The dorsal and abdominal fins of juveniles are long and feathery like feathers. Did you know? The look down got its name from the fact that when swimming, it gives the impression of looking down. The length of an Atlantic herring is from 10 to 12 inches and they weigh approximately 0.5 pounds. They have a metallic sheen and seem green-blue on the dorsal side while silvery white on the belly side. They have a wide mouth and lower jaw compared to their thin bodies. They are equipped with a dorsal fin as well as a caudal fin. In terms of their physical characteristics, they are comparable to blueback herring and American shad. They belong to the pelagic fish family. This indicates that they live somewhere in the center of the water column, between the surface and the bottom of the body of water. They occasionally come out to the surface but they swim up to 120 feet deep most of the time. Queen Angelfish The body is oval in shape and blue to greenish blue, with a golden border on the mid and posterior scales. Yellow coloring can be seen on the pectoral, ventral and caudal fins. The lips are blue, but the rest of the face is yellow. A distinct oscillated patch in a dark blue color on the forehead. As is the cause with the majority of angelfish, the dorsal and anal fins extend beyond the body mass. Solid, squared caudal fin. The juvenile form has a body primarily dark blue, with many brilliant blue bands and yellow markings and characteristics. In addition, the bars in the middle of the body are curled. In addition, both the dorsal and anal fins have a vivid blue border around them. Lobe fin fish. There is a close genetic relationship between the ray fin fishes and their sister group, the lobe fin fishes. They are distinguished by the fact that each of their paired pectoral and pelvic fins is articulated by a single bone and that both fins are thick and meaty. The fossil record unequivocally demonstrates that lobe fin fishes were the ancestors of all land-dwelling vertebrates approximately 400 million years ago. They have the potential to reach lengths of up to 2 meters and weights of up to 90 kilos. It is anticipated that they could live for up to or even more than 60 years. The paired loop fins that extend away from this living fossil's body-like legs and move in an alternating rhythm similar to a trotting horse are perhaps the most eye-catching characteristics of this animal.